Hey guys, Alex here from Love Tennis and in this video I'm going to discuss the top 5 best forehands in tennis. Now obviously this is a difficult choice because many players out there hit that forehand big but I had to choose the best 5 players that I think stand above the rest. Now at number 5 I chose Novak Djokovic. Now I was thinking about other players too so um, I was thinking about Sampras, I was thinking about Carl Edmund, I was thinking about Robin Soderling, I was thinking about Jack Sock, but I decided to go for Novak Djokovic simply because he might not have the biggest forehand in the world, but he has, I'd say, one of the most precise and one of the most consistent ones in the world. That's why I placed him at number five, and I think that he actually, his forehand is bigger than uh, some people give him credit for. Um, and being world number one, being one of the best players, well, he could even become the greatest of all time. I know his backhand gets a lot of credit, but I think also his forehand should be up there among the top five. Now at number four, some of you may think that this was a, uh, a wrong choice, someone who should be maybe higher, but in my opinion he's at number four and that's Rafael Nadal. So Rafael Nadal's forehand. He has the biggest spin in the world, so he definitely wins on that. He has the most bounce off the court. I don't know how effective it is on hard courts. It's not maybe as big as someone like Federer. Um, he doesn't get quite as much bite out of the court as he does uh, on clay courts. Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to place him at number four uh, simply because I think it's more suited just for that clay court uh, and not all surfaces. But again, Rafa does win a lot of matches and his forehand is the dominant force. So, you know, perhaps he could be higher. Some of you may disagree, but I'm putting him at number four. Now at number three, one of my personal favorite forehands, I'm going to put Roger Federer. Now Roger, he hits a lot of winners from the forehand side, it's his dominant weapon, it's what wins him matches, and it's what's made him, so far, the greatest of all time. Now, he has one of the most fluid techniques, he's relaxed and he hits the ball with so much effortless power, and he's able to pick out any spot on the tennis court, even when on the run. So I'm placing Roger Federer at number three. Now at number two, I'm going to place Juan Martin Del Potro. One of the biggest swings in the world, that's for sure. Being a tall guy as well, he gets a crazy racket acceleration, a lot of uh, a lot of momentum going through that shot, and he's actually one of the players that I think puts the most body weight into every shot. He chooses to play a lot from a neutral stance, and he tries to transfer his body into the shot. And being quite a big guy, tall guy, tall player, big levers, he's able to generate tremendous power from that shot and cause a lot of problems, no matter who's on the other side. Now for the top position, the number one best forehand in the world in tennis, I'm going to go for Fernando Gonzalez. Now those of you who don't know who he is, he's a player from Chile. He is now retired, but he had one of the biggest forehands ever. Even Roger Federer said when asked who would you build as a perfect player, who would have 
the biggest forehand, even he said it would be Fernando Gonzalez. So if it's good enough for Roger Federer, it's also good enough for me. And having seen some of his matches and how he absolutely destroys the ball, um, it's incredible. And I think not only does he have the power on, the sh on, on that shot, he also has great placement. And he didn't really miss too many from that side. And being quite a, he's not the biggest, not the tallest player, but he has one of the fastest arms on the tour. So he, he had so much racket snap on the ball. He had so much power, so much racket acceleration uh, that I think he, well, he deserves to be at number one for me. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think I placed someone in the wrong position? Who would you have as number one? Uh, do you think that uh, my reasons are valid? And is there somebody that I missed out that I should have included in the top five? Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you're gonna keep watching our channel. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh, do press the like button, share it with your friends, and leave a comment under the video and let me know what you think. See you soon and all the best.